welcome to ABC Interactive English. That is Karen, and that is Henry.、Mm-hmm. And today we are looking at day three of our stories and fables, and it's still called the gift of the Magi. And the vocabulary words are sofa, sofa. Frank helped Ruby move the sofa upstairs. Dear, dear, would you give me a cup of tea, dear? Rose, rose. Some of the roses in the garden are white, and some of them are red. Bless, bless. The priest blessed all of the people in the village. Mm-hmm. Mm. So,、uh, Karen, I have a story about a sofa. Okay, tell us your story. When I moved into my first apartment on my own,、okay. which was a big deal, right?、Uh-huh. My buddy, my best friend Jim, offered to buy me a new sofa. Wow, he's so nice. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, yeah, I don't have a sofa, when, and that you know, a sofa is a lot of money. It can be a lot of money. Yeah. So he was just like, let me buy you a sofa. And then you took the offer. And I took the offer, and、uh, from then on, he slept on that sofa, rent free, for about two years. You are kidding me. I'm not. Really? Yes. So he just bought you the sofa so he can sleep on the sofa. Well, basically, he still lived at home with his parents. Uh huh. And whenever he wanted to come over and have some fun, he would stay on the sofa. <laughs> and this was back in college, so you know there were many late nights. <laughs> so he was there half of the time, really, on my on his so on my was it mine or his? <laughs> it、confusing. was actually your sofa. Yeah, but not really. Okay, but he was on it most of the time.、But、Thanks, Jim. Pretty smart, I guess. Jim Bob. To save money. Yeah. Okay. The question for today is: What did Jim think of Della's gift? What did Jim think of Della's gift? And we're talking about Jim yeah, right now. Yeah, Jim.、Uh, thanks, thanks, Jim. The gift of the Magi. Jim arrived. He gave Della a funny look and sat on the sofa. I sold my hair to buy your present," said Della. "Please forgive me." "Of course, dear," said Jim. "I'm just surprised. Take your present and see why." Jim handed Della two hair combs with roses on them. "They're terrific," said Della. "Here's your present." Della handed him the chain. "I love it," said Jim. But I sold my watch to buy your combs. Della and Jim hugged. They couldn't use their gifts, but they knew they were still blessed. Explanation one. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm Mary. Welcome to the final day of our stories and fables unit for this month. Della and Jim are a married couple who are also the main characters of this month's story titled "The Gift." Of the Magi, they are young, in love, and quite poor. Normally, they can deal with this difficult situation, but now, around Christmas time, they are trying to find some way to make extra money so that they can buy gifts. Della decided to sell her long, beautiful hair to a wig maker. She would use the twenty dollars she made from selling her hair. To buy a silver watch chain for her husband Jim's gold watch. And when we left her yesterday, she was waiting at home for her husband to arrive with the new silver watch chain and her new short hairdo. So let's start reading today's story to see what happens.、Mm-hmm. The first sentence we read for today tells us Jim arrived. Okay, her husband's home, and then it says. He gave Della a funny look and sat on the sofa. This funny look means that Jim thinks something is strange. He must have noticed her short hair. And a word we just saw there, sofa, is our first new vocabulary word for today. Sofa, sofa. It's a noun. A sofa is a long seat for two or more people that we often find in the living room of a house. Sofas are usually for two to four people, but you can also find longer ones. The sofa is a great place for people to sit while watching TV, for example. And if your sofa is long enough, you might even be able to stretch out and lie on the sofa. So comfy. For example, we all sat on the sofa and ate popcorn while watching the basketball finals. 
，我们边看篮球决赛，边坐在沙发上吃爆米花。Sofa, sofa， 沙发是名词。如果同学们耳朵很利的话，应该会发现沙发这个中文啊，就是从英文 sofa 直接音译过来的字哦，很好记吧？说到沙发，真的是全客厅里面我最喜欢的地方了。常常一到假日啊，我就会这样子宣告。I'm going to sit on the sofa and watch TV all day. I'm going to sit on the sofa and watch TV all day. 我要坐在沙发上看电视看一整天，没有人可以拦我。这就是我完美的假日。那沙发、啊、也是有分很多种类的哦，有些比较短，有些比较长，有一些甚至你可以直接躺下来。例如 ，Kelly bought a new sofa which was so long that she could lie on it. Kelly bought a new sofa, which was so long that she could lie on it. Kelly 买了一个新的沙发，长到她可以躺在上面啊！这就是梦想的沙发。回到我们的故事里面 ，Jim 在回到家以后，露出了奇怪的表情，看着 Della， 接着在沙发上坐下来。Back in the story, we can read what Della says to her husband. I sold my hair to buy your present," said Della. Please forgive me. And in reply, of course, dear," said Jim. "I'm just surprised. Take your present and see why. Ah, so we'll learn about why Jim is surprised after we check out the second new vocabulary word, which is the word dear. Dear, dear. It's a noun. This is a name that we might use for someone we care about, or maybe just for someone we want to speak kindly to." Family members and loved ones might call each other "dear," or it might also be used to speak to a stranger, but in a close and caring sort of way. For example, the woman leaned down and said to the little boy, "What's the matter, dear? Are you lost?" 那位女士弯下身来和小男孩说，怎么了，亲爱的？你迷路了吗 ？Dear, dear. 亲爱的人，这是一个名词。既然都说是亲爱的人，这个字我们通常会拿来称呼比较熟悉、比较亲密的人。但今天就算我们跟某个人没有很熟，但你想关心他，用比较不疏远的方式称呼他，你也可以用这个字哦。例如 ，Dear, are you okay? Dear, are you okay? 亲爱的，你还好吗？你如果在路上啊，看到有个人似乎很难受，你就可以这样关心他哦，这样他会感觉比较亲近一点。那 dear 除了当名词以外，我们也常常把它做形容词使用，意思就是亲爱的。例如 ，Dear Grandma, how are you lately? Dear Grandma, how are you lately? 亲爱的奶奶，你最近如何？这样子写信给家人啊，或亲近的朋友，可以这样开头哦。那在我们的故事里，在听到 Della 把头发卖了买礼物的消息之后 ，Jim 回答：“亲爱的，我当然不会怪你啊，我只是很惊讶，你拿到礼物之后就会明白了。” So let's read on to see why Jim was so surprised by Della's actions. It says, Jim handed Della. Two hair combs with roses on them, and this must be Jim's present for his wife. Two hair combs. Hmm. It's bad that she cut all of her hair off. It's probably too short for her to use the combs now. What a shame. Yeah, that's really too bad, isn't it? All that long, beautiful hair gone. Well, we'll be heading to our break soon, but first we need to look at a new vocab word. It's new word number three for today. And that word is the word rose, rose, rose. This is a noun, and a rose is a type of flower that is famous for its beauty as well as its wonderful smell. Roses come in a few different colors, but red, white, and pink are the most common. Traditionally, roses are given to lovers on Valentine's Day as they are considered to be a romantic flower. The smell of the rose is also found in many popular perfumes and soaps. For example, the church was filled with roses as the guests arrived for the wedding. 当宾客们抵达婚礼时，教堂里充满了玫瑰 ，rose, rose. 玫瑰花，这是一个名词。玫瑰花应该可以算是最有名的花了吧？它几乎就是爱的代表物。每到节日啊，像是情人节 （Valentine's Day）， 走在路上啊，都会看到路上情侣人手一把。大部分女生应该都拒绝不了这么漂亮的花。例如 ，Red roses are Fanny's favorite flowers. 
Red roses are Fanny's favorite flowers. 红玫瑰是 Fanny 最喜欢的花。那玫瑰也是有分很多种颜色的哦。常见的应该有红色、粉红色和白色。那再来看一个例子 ：The man put the white roses on his wife's grave. The man put the white roses on his wife's grave. 那位先生在他妻子的墓上放了一些白玫瑰，虽然有点悲伤，但也是很浪漫的。那回到故事里。Jim 拿出他要给 Della 的礼物，居然是两把上面有玫瑰花装饰的法书。难怪啊，他看到 Della 剪头发会这么惊讶。Okay, it's break time now, but we'll be back soon to finish the article. <音樂>欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是悠悠，我是志安。飞机的时候呢，有些地方你都要经过转机，转机，转机，还不一定能直飞、欸，哎，就没有直达，哇，很惨哎、欸 okay, ，真的。好，我们来看一下这个转机的时候相关的英文哈。好，这个飞机舱等，差不多就是。先要认识飞机舱。三种对不对 ？OK， 一般来说了哈，就是 economy class、嗯。economy class。economy 就是经济哈、嗯，经济舱最便宜的。对。再来的话就是高等一点点 ，business class。business class。商务舱、嗯、哦，那头等舱就是。First class，、oh, 不是 top class，、okay? <笑> first class、okay?。我会 first class、oh,。First class， OK。好。那对于需要转机人来讲，这个出入境的时间分秒都不能插错，因为你不小心 miss 掉，就哇，完蛋了、啊，你后面全部都。因为你要转的飞机是准时的，那你这边延误了，你就哈哈哈,哈。<笑> OK， 好，那我们就要注意这个出境啊，起飞的这个时间哦。是。这个出境起飞的时间 departure time。Departure time. 对，那入境或者是抵达的时间，那个叫 arrival time. Arrival time. 刚刚那个 departure, depart 就是离开 ，OK? Arrive 就是抵达，哈。那这个 departure 跟 arrival 都是名词 ，OK? 所以起飞的时间，你可以问他说 ，When is the departure time? When is the departure time? 嗯哼，对对。那比如直达转机还有中途停靠这种英文要怎么说呢？直达的班机叫做 direct flight. Direct flight. 那如果他需要转机的转班的哈，这个东西叫做 connecting flight。connecting flight、啊。connect 它本来的意思是连接哈，那也有衔接的意思啊，所以、嗯、那刚刚讲说错过这个班机，我们可以说 miss the flight。miss the flight。啊，比如说、哦、I will miss the connecting flight if the departure time is delayed。很惨。I will miss the connecting flight if the departure time is delayed.、嗯、啊，对，那没办法、啊嗯。对 ，OK， 那再来的话就是这个中途停靠的，好，就是像呃，它是直飞的，对不对？对。啊，不，它不是直飞的，它不需要换飞机的哈、嗯。那但是中间会 stop over。嗯，他会在某个机场先休息，休息一下，再继续加个油之类的。所以，对飞机是同一辆哈、嗯，那个东西叫 stop over。stop over。对对对。嗯，可是专业的地勤人员都会尽量帮助我们的旅客，看能不能尽快这衔接上转机的时间班机，他不会帮你 miss 掉任何一班飞机，对不对,对,对,对？所以本来这一个他可能慢了，然后他就会跟你说哈、嗯、，I can put you on an eight fifteen flight。I can put you on an Eight fifteen flight. Oh,、um, put you on, 就是把你放在，把你安排到某一台这个班机。OK， 就帮你搭乘，然后安排搭乘这一班好了，八点十五分。OK， 那来看今天的 live action. action. Ma'am, you're traveling in business class to LA with a stopover in Hong Kong. Correct. I'm sorry, your seven forty a.m. flight to Hong Kong has been delayed. <gasps> New departure time. Uh, the new departure time is ten thirty a.m. <gasps> That means I will miss my connecting flight, and I have to be in LA tomorrow morning for the meeting for business. You know, I cannot lose my okay, job. Okay. You know, I really、Let、need a job. Let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do. I need a job. I need a job. <laughs> All right. Good news. I can put you on an A fifteen flight. <gasps> So you can still catch your connecting flights to LA. Thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much. <laughs> Explanation two. Welcome back, everyone. We are with Jim and Della as they unwrap their Christmas presents for each other. Jim got his wife two beautiful hair combs, but sadly, Della had to cut off her hair to get the money to buy Jim a present. What bad luck! 
It is a shame, but as we read on, we can see that Della still loves the gift that her husband got for her. We read, "They are terrific," said Della. Here is your present, and then we read that Della handed him the chain. Ah, so now it's Jim's turn to be surprised. We'll find out what happens right after we hear today's question of the day, which is, "What did Jim think of Della's gift?" I love it," said Jim. "But I sold my watch to buy your combs." "I love it," said Jim. "But I sold my watch to buy your combs." "Uh oh." He needed extra money for the combs, so he sold his father's old watch. In exactly the same way that Della sold her hair to buy him the chain, they both gave up something they love for the other person. But the other person bought them a gift for the thing that they love and sold.、Mm. It's almost like some kind of cruel joke. True, funny, but in a sad sort of way. It is very sweet, though, that they gave up something precious for their partner. So, as we reach the end, it says, "Della and Jim hugged. They couldn't use their gifts, but they knew they were still blessed." Ah,、oh, what a nice, happy ending to that story! And before we reach the end of today's lesson, we have one more new vocab word to check out, and the final word for today is blessed. Bless, bless. This is a verb. To bless is to give religious protection and approval for something or someone. We might get blessed when we go to church or go to temple. For believers of that religion, they might feel that God is watching over them, and they are being protected by God. Babies might get blessed soon after they are born, or people might get a priest to bless a new boat so that it will be looked after while it sails on dangerous seas. To be blessed is to be protected by God in some way. For example, the priest placed his hands on the baby's head and said a short prayer to bless her. 那位牧师把手放在小婴儿的头上，并说了一小段道文来祝福他。Bless, bless， 祝福、保佑，这是一个动词。同学们可能有听过以下的对话：当有人打哈欠的时候 ，Ha chu， 别人会回什么呢 ？Bless you, bless you， 祝福你。那这是在做什么呢？啊，这是因为早期的人啊，生病、感冒、致死率会比较高，所以当有人打喷嚏的时候，在旁边的人就会说。愿上帝保佑你 ，May God bless you。传至今日啊，就变成简短的 bless you 了，很有趣吧？那当有信仰的人在祈祷的时候，他们也可能会这样子说 ：Dear God, please bless my parents. Let them live a long life. Dear God, please bless my parents. Let them live a long life. 亲爱的神啊，请保佑我的父母，让他们长命百岁。这就是在请神赐福。在我们的故事的最后 ，Della 和 Jim 紧紧相拥。虽然他们没办法使用对方送的礼物，但是他们明白啊，他们是受到祝福的。And there we have another stories and fables unit for you. That's right. We hope you have all enjoyed it, and we look forward to seeing you sometime very soon. Take care. The gift of the Magi. Jim arrived. He gave Della a funny look and sat on the sofa. I sold my hair to buy your present," said Della. "Please forgive me." "Of course, dear," said Jim. "I'm just surprised. Take your present and see why." Jim handed Della two hair combs with roses on them. "They're terrific," said Della. Here's your present. Della handed him the chain. I love it," said Jim. "But I sold my watch to buy your combs." Della and Jim hugged. They couldn't use their gifts, but they knew they were still blessed. Daphne, 今天我们总共要介绍三则文法。第一则是 A 对 B 露出怪异表情的句型 ，A gives B a funny look。第二则是明白原因的动词片语 ，see why。第三则是给你某事物的表达法 ，here is something。让我们从 A 对 B 露出怪异表情的句型开始吧。
。A gives B a funny look， 意思是 A 对 B 露出怪异的表情。Give 是授予动词给予的意思。后方要接两个受词，一个受词是人，另一个受词是东西。在 A gives B a funny look 这个句型中，我们先接人 B， 再接事物 a funny look 当受词。形容词 funny 在这里不是表示好笑的、逗趣的意思，而是古怪的、不寻常的。Look 则是名词表情，例如 Richard wet the bed and gave his mom a funny look。理查尿床，对妈妈露出怪异的表情。接着来看下一则文法 ，see why 意思是明白原因 ，see 在这里是及物动词，明白的意思 ，why 则是名词原因理由，合在一起 ，see why 就是动词片语明白原因。例如 ，little Lisa knew the rain came down from the sky， but she didn't see why。小丽莎知道雨从天上来，但不明白原因。接着来看下一则文法。Here is something， 意思是给你某事物。因为 here 这里是地方副词，依据英文文法，地方副词放句首，句子要倒装。因此，先说 be 动词，再说主词。Here is something， 字面意思就是某物在这里，用于递东西给对方的情况下。例如 ，Here is the magazine， 杂志给你。以上就是今天的三则文法，全民双语。我们下次见喽。A sentence a day. Hello, welcome to a sentence a day with me, Henry. 我们要借东西的时候呢，当然最重要的是有诚意，而且更重要的就是让人家知道你什么时候会还。不管借什么东西都一样，时间越短越好，越快归还越好，这样大家都不用再担心，大家都不会再为难。And the sentence for today is, "Don't worry, you'll have this back in a jiffy." 别担心。马上就还你了。A jiffy means a very, very short time, so you'll probably have it back very quickly. You'll probably have it back right away. So this is a promise that you're making. I'll give it right back to you. So just let me borrow it for a little while. Thank you. And the sentence for today is: Don't worry, you'll have this back in a jiffy. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye. Hello, I'm Henry. 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那今天同样是用一分钟的时间帮大家复习在 Stories and Fables 学到的四个单词。同学们，您都准备好没？一分钟计时，开始。好，第一个单词是沙发。沙发的英文怎么说呢？英文就跟中文蛮像的 ，sofa, sofa, 沙发。My grandma fell asleep on the sofa while watching TV. 阿妈看电视的时候在沙发上睡着了。阿妈。阿妈是睡着了。好，第二单词是亲爱的人，亲爱的要怎么说？叫做 dear， dear。How was school today， dear？ 亲爱的，今天在学校怎么样啊？有没有什么有趣的事情发生啊？好，再看第三个单词是玫瑰花，怎么说呢？叫做 rose， rose， 螺丝。好， he bought a dozen red roses for his girlfriend。他买了十二朵红玫瑰给他女朋友。第四个单词它有祝福、保佑的意思。这个动词要怎么说呢？叫做 bless。Bless. It's polite to say "bless you" when someone sneezes. 当有人打喷嚏的时候，你说 "bless you"， 上帝保佑你，这样是有礼貌的哦。好，太好了，我们在一分钟之内轻轻松松复习完四个单词了。同学们表现很棒哦。那今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。